Oh my goodness me, I have seen the videos already of people joining Zoom meetings and they're just not looking their best. They may be showing a bit too much than they should. I've got your back because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to join a Zoom meeting and also how you can look your best, how you can look highly professional from the point that someone meets you face to face for the first time on your Zoom meetings. Vina V. Hello, my beautiful happiness hustlers, and welcome to a brand new series where I'm going to show you how to keep your business going and keep it growing with the power of online video. We're all in the same boat right now, so I just really hope these tutorials are helping you in your life. Hello, my name's Vina V. If you've not subscribed yet, please make sure you do. And most importantly, I'm going to leave a link below this video with a whole playlist to all these videos that are really going to help you with Zoom, with doing webinars, with just everything that you need to upskill yourself in these uncertain times. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, before we get onto the tips on how to look good on a webcam, let's teach you how to join a Zoom meeting. So can you see on the screen right now, there's a link that I sent my friend, which I created in Zoom. When someone sends you that link, all you got to do is click on it. Now, once you've clicked on it, you'll be taken to this screen where it will either tell you to download Zoom or open it if you've already got it on your laptop. Now, don't worry if you don't have Zoom installed already on your computer or phone. It's absolutely free to download. Um, so you just click a button and that is literally it. So the next thing, once you've got Zoom on your computer or phone, you'll be taken to this screen. Now this is showing you a preview of what your video will look like and keep watching this video right to the end because I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks on how to make this preview look amazing when you enter the room for these Zoom meetings. So as you can see, you've got two options. You can actually join without video or join with video. So if you're joining some kind of online class, maybe it's a fitness class or maybe you're a student and you're going into a, a, a meeting with a teacher, then click join without video. But if you're actually having a meeting with someone, maybe your colleagues, then you can click join with video. So as you can see, my friend is about to click join with video. And then the final step before we join the meeting, woohoo, we're nearly there. Um, next thing you've got to do is just select your audio option. So most of us will just simply click join with computer audio. But if you have got an external microphone, then you'll click on that audio option. And that is it. We have now joined the meeting live. As you can see, my friend's video is at the top and that's me on the main screen right in front of you. And now we're going to go into some top tips on how you can make your webcam video and yourself look highly professional when you join these Zoom meetings. So first tip is we do not need to be this close to our computer. Can you see, see how close I am? You want to stay back and you need to firstly sort out your background. So we don't really want that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my washing I've done uh, I'm gonna move that out the way just to make it look a bit more presentable what is behind me okay so that is the first thing done that's out the way so I've got a nice clutter free background the next thing can you see I'm just not positioned that well I was a bit too close at first and now I've sat back in my chair I need to position me in the frame of this video okay so what we can do is if you don't want to technically move yourself somewhere else all you got to do is move your computer screen so I'm just going to bring my computer screen this bit here forward like that can you see Yay! that's so much more better and then again I can move my computer around uh, just to make it look a bit more there we go yeah can you see what a difference that makes already so I'm positioned in the middle of my screen um, clutter free background and can you also notice the lighting my face 
is lit, is that a word? Litten up? <laughs> it, it, it's just nice and clear, okay? And that is because my window is right in front of me. So if I actually turn you around, so can you see here? Imagine if we did, <laughs> I've got, this is quarantine life. This, my house is a mess. It's, it's, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm not gonna apologize for the state my house is currently in, but look, Imagine doing a video like this. No, no, I've seen so many people make this mistake already on Zoom. We don't want the window, the light to be behind us. We want that window to be shining onto us. So all we do, look at this difference. Look at that difference. Bang, that is it. That is it. Look how much more professional that looks by simply the lighting. Look, there you go. Bang. Yeah, so that's what we want. We want the light from the window shining on us, okay? Another way for you to look great on your Zoom meetings, on a webcam, on FaceTime, is dress as if you are going to that meeting in real life. So as you can see, I've done my hair a little bit, I've put a little bit of makeup on, and it just makes me feel a bit more confident as well because I haven't been wearing any makeup. I don't think I've brushed my hair. <laughs> the last week because me and my son have been at home so today I decided gonna put some makeup on make this YouTube video and make sure you're treating your meetings like that I know it's so tempting to turn up to a zoom meeting <laughs> in your pajamas and you know what if you want to and I, I've got my jeans on but if you want to on the bottom half where your um, pajama bottoms or whatever it is you can do that but just be careful, if you were to ever kind of stand up, look, can you see? You can now see my my bottom part there. So just be aware of that. Just wear a nice top at least. Now, you know, at the beginning of this video, I was like really, really close uh, to my computer. Another thing is to look good on the screen. We don't wanna be like all the way. <laughs> we don't wanna literally be like, all the way here like you you would never do a meeting like that we want to make sure we want to make sure that you know we're, we're creating that same feel as if we were meeting someone face to face okay so we've got our lighting sorted we've got our positioning our framing our background done we've got the, the sound kind of sorted because if we're a good distance, not again, not too close and not too far, if we're relatively close to our computer, it's gonna pick up, pick up our sound. So there may not be a need for you to have an external microphone. However, if you wanna kind of up the video quality of your Zoom meetings, I would recommend getting an external webcam. So you're gonna see the difference right now. So this is me. All I'm doing is using the built-in webcam from my Mac. So this is picking up my sound and showing the picture that you can see. But can you see it's quite grainy. That's because I haven't put additional lighting on. It is getting a bit dark here in the UK right now. So if I was to put some lights on me, and you can use a simple lamp and shine it on you, or put the kind of big light on in the room, um, you wouldn't get as much grain. But you're going to see the difference now. When I plug in my webcam, I'm not going to add in any external lights or anything like that. Uh, you're going to see a clear difference between the built-in webcam and my external one I'm just about to plug in for you. Okay, so so boom, this is my webcam. This is it. All you gotta do is plug this into the USB port. So we are gonna do that right now. Then we're gonna place this on top of where the webcam, the, ex, uh, the internal webcam already is. So can you see it's changed already? <sighs> Look. But can you see the difference? Oh, oh, look how much more clearer and crisp that is. Boom. So this is what's gonna make your 
Zoom meetings, your FaceTime, your webcam videos just look so much more professional. I have got a link in the description for you to go and watch a video all about this so you can see exactly my review on it. I'll also leave the link below if you want to purchase this as well. But And this is such an affordable webcam. Um, again, a lot of people are missing out this, this tip in terms of plugging in an affordable external camera. And also you should hear a difference in the sound. So I'm going to go back to this now so you can actually hear what this sounds like. Yay! There we go. Can you see the difference here? Yay! Oh, another tip for you. Always make sure you're looking into the lens of the webcam. So can you see I'm looking at you now, but when I'm looking at the screen, I'm not looking at you. Do you see what a difference that makes? So don't look at yourself. You've got to, and I know it's really unnatural to do this because you can't see yourself now. You're kind of, but again, imagine you're actually meeting someone face to face. You wouldn't be able to see yourself anyway. So make sure you look into the lens of the webcam and you're giving the people eye contact when you're taking part in these Zoom meetings. Again, I want to show you the difference this makes. This is the picture and the sound with the webcam. Now let's take it out. Oh, and then we need to press start video. Oh, let me take that off for you. Right, can you see that difference? It still looks relatively good with all the tips I've taught you today, but can you just see and even hear the difference? I do highly recommend getting one of these. And uh, like I said, I will leave the link below for you to go and check the review out of that webcam. Make sure you take a little peek below in the description. I've got loads of free resources for you. You can take a look at the equipment I use, like this webcam as well. And there's just so much good stuff down below. So make sure you go and check that out. Also, go and watch the video either over there or over there. That's a whole playlist for you of free training on how you can confidently use Zoom and how you can go live on Facebook. Just so many great videos in that playlist. So make sure you go and watch that right now and please take action today not tomorrow because you deserve so much success focus on the positives and let's silence those negative voices i will see you in the next video